awesome. Thank you guys so much for coming out tonight. This is very cool. This is very cool. Um, I just kind of wanted to just share my story about the one time I met Stan and just kind of how I got to become aware of Stan in the first place. So when I was a little kid, I had no interest in reading whatsoever. It's no interest. And my mom bought me a book called Origins of Marvel Comics. Anybody know this book? Right? Okay. So basically, it came out in 1974, the year I was born, and it had the origins of Spider-Man, the Fantastic Four, all their first appearances, and then a current comic from 1974, so you can kind of see where the character went. And then in between the comics, Stan just had like essays about how he came up with the ideas and all the different artists that he worked with. So that's also where I got introduced to Jack Kirby, to Steve Ditko, to Ramita, to just all the greats. So once I got this book, that was it. I was hooked not only on comics, but just in reading. So it was amazing for me, okay? It transformed my life. So flash forward many, many years, it's 2010. Stan Lee is gonna be coming to the Phoenix Comic Con for the first time. Super excited, and at the time, people were up in arms that it was $50 for an autograph. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, okay, $50, small price to pay, just to be in the presence of the man for a minute. Never thought that would happen. So gladly, you know, pay, waiting in line now, um, I'm a new father, my son, uh, his name's Peter, that's my middle name, and his middle name's Parker. So, yeah, <laughs> Rob Steve was actually my ex's idea, so, uh, it's good stuff. Uh, so, we're going to meet Stan Lee, and we're waiting in line to get our autographs. And security's working the line, this is like the biggest guest that Beeps Con's ever had. And they're like, okay, don't ask him a million questions, he's not shaking hands. Just hand the stuff to the lady, she'll hand it to Stan, he'll sign it and move on. We got a lot of people to go through, so it's like, okay. I'm not going to ask you a million questions. I don't need to, but I got to say something. Because how often do you get a chance to be in front of somebody who really like affected your life? So finally, it's my turn, and I get up in front of Stan, and I'm just like, "Wow, Stan, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for everything." And I pointed back at my son, who's like probably six months old at the time. I was like, "It's my son. His middle name is Parker because of you. I work at this comic book store because of you, and just I learned to read on this book." Because of you, you know, thank you so much for everything. And Stan goes in the Stan voice, the voice that I first heard, you know, that Spider-Man and his amazing friends when I was a little kid, says to me, no, no, thank you for saying such nice things, right? Along the way. And then he sticks out his hand. <laughs> the sec security tenses up, right? You know? <laughs> but you, you can't leave the man. <laughs> So I stick out my hand, I shake his hands, and he, he points to my books, he signs them, I, I take them, and I, and I walked away, and that was, that was my moment with Stan, and I, I go up to my ex, and, and she looks at me, and I was, I was speechless. It was literally the first time in our entire relationship that she ever saw me speechless. Uh, the other time was when she told me she wanted a divorce, but that's another story. Anyway, um, but I just wanted to say uh, thank you to Stan for everything, and obviously he didn't do it alone. He had a ton of talented people. There's a ton of talented people who are still writing these books and making these movies, but bottom line, if it wasn't for that creative Big Bang, yeah, we'd be here tonight, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, Excelsior Stan, thank you for everything, and thank you all.